Hi Scorpio, Mary here. I have your weekly forecast. This is for the week of May 28th to June 3rd. And I'm just going to do three tarot cards. And actually I'm going to do an, an additional tarot card here. Okay. We have four tarot cards and I'll do some angel cards and some oracle cards for you. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like you have, um, you're carrying a heavy load, or you feel like you're carrying a heavy load, a lot of responsibility this week, um, but you are on the right path. This is the, this is the Six of Swords, so, um, as you go forward this week, know that you're, um, coming to smoother, uh, waters. You're on the right path, you're headed in the right direction, and the, the, you're going headed towards more calmer waters, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you have a good balance, you have what you need financially, materialistically. This is the Six of Pentacles. Pentacles is all about its earth energy, so it's um, things that you can see, touch, and feel. So you have what you need, you have a good balance, you can see the scale there. You've worked hard for what you have. You have what you need. You're just feeling, um, towards the beginning of the week, I feel like you're just feeling a heavy burden for some reason. Just know that you are on the right path. And you've got the Emperor card. So this could be that an Aries is coming in. Um, this is the Aries card. So it could be an Aries coming into your life this week. Or even just a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Uh, but it could also be that you're you're taking the lead on something, you are in control, you're making decisions, um, and you're on the right path. So let's draw some angel cards and see if they can offer us any clarity for the sign of Scorpio. Well, Spirit wants you to play this week. Take some time off. Take some time to um, just feel some joy. Um, I feel like if you are carrying a heavy load and you've been working hard, um, take some time off if you can maybe, I don't know, take a couple days off from work, some vacation time, something like that. That's going to really benefit you this week. Um, this is from Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And it says, um, the ringmaster of scrutiny, which is discernment, um, clear vision, and details. So I feel like if you take some time off to play, um, that's going to re-energize you. It's going to clear your energy so that you can really step back and be discerning about things moving forward. Um, yep, and have a clear vision about... Um, what it is that you want to do going forward. You're on the right path to smoother waters, but you want to take some time to rest and rejuvenate. That's going to help you deal with those little details. Um, little details as you move forward. Yeah. Um, there's more studying and learning for you as you, as you um, move forward. So you may have to take a course, um, you may be going back to school, something of that nature. Um, yeah. I think as you take some time off to rest and rejuvenate and just play, it's going to give you um, a clear vision um, and perhaps that's when you'll realize that you need to go back to school or take some sort of course, something like that. Um, remember to bring in a balance between the male and female energy, the yin and the yang. This is the um, yin energy, it's the female energy, uh, number two, and two is all about unity. Um, so you want to just um, bring in your female energy as well as that male energy. Okay. I think I'll pull one more card. I forget the name of this deck, to be honest with you, but it's just, it's such a beautiful deck. I just want to use it today. I'll try to remember to look it up. 
infinite potential. Remember that you have infinite potential, infinite wisdom. Um, the number is 41. 4 plus 1 is, it adds up to 5. So that's all about change and transition. So I feel like you've worked hard. You have what you need financially. You're feeling a little overburdened, but you're on the right path. Um, just take time out to play, rest, rejuvenate. Take a step back and pay attention to the details. Bring in that feminine energy and know that you have infinite potential as you move forwards towards calmer waters. All right, um, that's your week, um, Scorpio. I hope you have a good one. Please leave me a comment below if this resonated at all. And please like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.